my relationship with Steve Wilkinson started before I can really remember. My, uh, my dad was one of Steve's first players to come through Gus Davis' program and had a very close relationship with him. So when I went to Gus Davis, I had a little bit of history with him already, which I think really helped me, helped the two of us probably get on the same page right away. Um, I know a lot of players struggle sometimes early on with his philosophies, his theory, and then over the course of four years, they realize um, kind of how good they are and have a stronger impact. I think for me, early on, we had a really close relationship. Um, I was able to go to his house late at night and have him help me with papers of, you know, for schoolwork in the very first semester. And you know, we'd spend long hours on the court together working on my game. So it was a, a very close relationship. I think what he did for me during those couple of years became even more apparent later in my career, as it does probably for a lot of his players. Um, as I went out on tour, the, the ATP tour is a really tough place. Um, you have lots of high highs and low lows. Um, he was able to help me set a goal, a goal early on that I'm going to go out here and try to become the best tennis player that I can be. And I think, as opposed to a lot of players who were so focused on results, I was able to really focus on my level of tennis and, and have that be a constant focus. And not only was you know, he able to help me set that goal, but he was also there for me to take phone calls once a week, twice a week, however often I needed to call him from the road. And when you lose a college tennis match, it can be really difficult, but you have your team there and you have your coach. When you lose a pro tennis match on the other side of the world and you go home to an empty hotel room with no one around, having that phone call is, is really, really important. So for me, he was, he was more than just a coach. He was a, a sports psychologist. He was a mentor. He was uh, a second parent even um, to help me get through so many of the tough times of the pro tour. Um, I think losing him became such a challenge for me because it was not only such a personal loss, but it actually directly affected my professional career. And not only in a way that maybe my results would suffer, but also my happiness on tour would suffer because there wasn't that person to call. And it's taken me a long time to get over the point where I walk off the court from a bad loss or a bad situation and grab my cell phone and realize that no, I can't call him. Uh, and that's been, that's been a really challenging last year and a half to, to go through. Um, I've, I've looked into trying to find someone else to fill that role as a sports psychologist, if you will, but you know, you, you, you're never going to find someone that has that sort of history with you. And, and that's what I really have missed this year. Um, so I think he's, he's had a, a massive effect, effect on my life, tennis on the court, off the court, from the things I try to do. Um, I think the things that, that bother me most when I think back about it is that I learned so much from him and my dad learned so much from him and I just assumed that my kids would learn from him. So to not have that is, is really hard. But um, still it was, it was lucky to be with him for so long and also kind of special to actually be able to say goodbye to him because I know that's really rare in this, this time and to be able to spend a lot of time with him in December and thank him for all he's done was, was really special.